below, bring a trailer. Let's do a walk around video and I'll show you a few things about our 1990 Chevy Rocky Ridge camper van. It's built on a 20 chassis. Then sent out to Rocky Ridge for the conversion. It was sold new in Florida by Sorensen Chevrolet. When it was built new, it did not come with a generator. Uh, the customer that bought it new from Pennsylvania uh, took it back to Rocky Ridge three or four or five months later, we have the invoice for it for a generator install. So there's a few flaws I'll point out to you. The bug shield, hood guard, a couple spots there, crack in the grill there. All of the decals are painted. It's very minor. I don't even know if I can show. Yeah, you can see it there. A little bit of minor stains, I guess you could call it, but it really doesn't stick out bad. All the chromes, not perfect, but very nice. These little plastic pieces around the door hinges have a little bit of paint coming off but not much this is original paint these I'm gonna call them exterior coach lights on either side are faded out tried to find something to replace them with but didn't really have any luck there's a little boo-boo right here below the right tail lamp it's touched up this tail lamp has some moisture in it but everything works fine Left tail lamp has some cracks at the very bottom from over tightening, but there's no moisture. Everything works good. Okay, I'll show you a few of the features it has. It's gonna be a really long video if I do them all because this has a lot of stuff to show you. We got 57,452 miles. You can refer to the driving video for how it gets down the road. See so a front AC using the chassis AC that also operates a four position fan with a vent there and two vents down here underneath the sofa bed so let's fire it up and get that going this switch here is for the rear AC Got your RPO codes. This has been added. It's removable with a couple buttons. Got Rocky Ridge on all the armrests, big plush seats. Little nick right here on the driver's armrest where your left elbow would go. Driver's floor mat does have some stain underneath the floor mat, but the carpet's all good. All the doors have these storage panels. They're a little stretched, but not bad. All the windows work. Wing vents work. See the pictures for that. Power locks all work. Right here is your switch for the power. 
power sofa. So your sofa turns into your bed. push of a button. Passenger front. Everything's in good shape on this side. Dash. Three toggle switches here that operate lights and power to your functions in the rear, reading lights, radio works well, and there are speakers in the rear as well, one right above the sink, and then one right there. Past your front door panels in great shape. Carpet's all good on this side. So in this leather pouch here, there's a ton of paperwork. Original invoices, window sticker from Chevy. It's all in there. You can look at all that in the pictures. The blinds are all matching the whole way around except for the windshield in the front two windows um, there's a vinyl wrap that hooks on the corners of the doors right here and then magnets down here and goes under the wipers fits nice and snug you can see that in the pictures the TV does not work I'm not real sure uh, what's up there Got a VHS player over here TV doesn't work though. So when you open the doors, they have entry lights, the tops are here and here, and in there. These lights are operated with a switch. Reading lights here. AC unit, roof mounted, got a mirror, microwave oven, sink. I can remember. Speaker, light. Stove here with two hot plates, the glass top. Here is the generator on and off button. So there it's running. It has 138.2 hours. I've had it running for roughly an hour while I've been taking pictures. It runs and works great. We got a separator in between the kitchen and the bathroom. There's your microwave. It works, dinner's done. Air conditioning's kicked on. Take a look at the picture, we had a thermometer in it not long ago. It was blowing right around 50 degrees. Refrigerator down here with a small freezer section up top. It was right about 40 degrees after being on for about an hour. So we have some storage below the sink. Little top, towel drying rods there. Storage on this side as well. Dishes rack, tool kit. There's your power cord, that's where it lays. And you shove it through the outside power outlet there 
there. GFI power outlet here. Um, little flaw on the interior right here. They must have something glued. You can kind of see the square outline of where it was. I'm, I think that's some sort of a glue. So that's either going to be there or you can cover it up. Uh, in one of the pictures I show, there, there's a whole bunch of extra buttons to go on all these places here. A couple different kinds. Here's your pump, water pump shutoff switch on off. Got cabinets up here. Got a first aid kit. Some dishes in this one. Four mugs. Matching four bowls. Four large plates, four small plates, all from Cornell by Corning. And a little plastic cooking bowl there. So, in one of the pictures, a couple of the pictures of the table. So there's a rod pipe that goes in that hole and the tabletop is stowed behind here. We'll show you that in a minute. Underneath the sofa bed, you got water hose, your table prop, jack, wrenches for spare tires, your fresh water tanks under there with a shutoff valve, or I mean a drain valve, sorry. Got two floor mats here, they're in good shape. Backs of the seats are all good. Got some storage in each one. All right, so this seat here, you can easily remove it if you'd like. Um, or it swivels and slides ahead. So it slides ahead that far, and then it can swivel. Swivel in. All right, there's your tabletop. It goes on top of that rod in that hole. Or you can leave this seat in the forward position and recline it for traveling. It does have a seat belt. There are also at least two seat belts for this couch. So you'd be legal to go down the road. One, two, three, four, five off the check. There might be a six seat belt on that. I'll double check that. If if you need to know that, let me know. Door panels. AC unit. Spare tire cover. All right, so back here. You have your toilet. Reading light, light, carbon monoxide detector, fuse panel, toilet works well, water, flush, and yes, there are blinds back here. Both of these doors, rear doors, you can unpin them. Right here, there's a pin you can pull both sides, but you can't really do it with the left because the spare tire hits. But you can fold this right one out around for more space. So under that box is the generator. You can look at pictures, um, check that out. In this tube here, that's your sewage pipe for dumping your sewage. In this box, it's just odds and ends, a grill cover, and some other things that you're gonna need to camp. Those buttons I was telling you about, this here is the front windshield cover for privacy, and we have a backpack, 12 volt backpack. Here. That does work. The hitch.
there it is let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching